Welcome back. Well, we're starting off with that, uh, as you saw in the report. Well, going over to Abuja, we've got uh, Honorable Ben Chooks, who is a former speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly. He's also a uh, lawyer. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Well, uh, Good morning. let's start by asking, I mean, do you have any information whatsoever about the, uh, whether or not the lawyer has indeed withdrawn from the case? Yes, the lawyer, uh, Emeka Etiaba SAN, has indeed withdrawn from uh, the defense of Chief Olisa Meto. As uh, you rightly did in your intro, um, it is a hard job for a lawyer who does not know the health status of his client and cannot communicate with him. And for the past one year, over one year, that client has been insisting that he is ill, gravely ill. Chief Olisa Metu is gravely ill. He is not pretending. He is not acting. And we, the defense team, made up of some, of perhaps the, the most brilliant of legal teams that anybody can assemble, have applied for medical treatment for Chief Olisa Metu who has a problem with his fifth, sixth, and seventh vertebrae. And the various professors of neurology have examined him in Nigeria and said that he, need, he requires an urgent surgery. Three times his legal team have told the court that this is the situation of Chief Olisametu and that he is running a risk of being paralyzed permanently. Three times the court has refused that application. And three times the court has repeatedly said that it does not believe Chief Olisametu, that he believes that what is happening to Olisametu is a ploy by him to prolong the trial. And this is an amazing situation. Yesterday we were in court and when the case was called about two minutes after 9 a.m., Chief Olisa Metu stood up and got up to go to the dock. And the judge was telling the register of court that he should sit where he usually sits in front of the dock instead of the main uh, provision in the dock. When Chief Olisa had, Olisa Metu had that, he uses a walker to move around. He turned to go and um, uh, resume his sitting position, and he fell down, and he fell very badly. And he laid down there for the better part of one hour. The judge at that instance rose, and the court and the registrars ran to the uh, Federal High Court Clinic to call a medical doctor and a nurse who rushed into court, met Chief Olisa Metu as he laid down there and was moaning in severe pains. And um, when the judge uh, resumed, he wanted the case to go on. Indeed, he called for appearances. And the medical doctor approached um, the court to say that Chief Olisa Metu was in severe critical pain and needed urgent medical attention out of the courtroom. Of course, the court, the court got upset and very angry and um, began to ask the uh, medical doctor how she managed to be in court. That is the situation we have found ourselves. And for the better part of the, the last three years, it has been, as far as I'm concerned, Chief Olisa Metu is standing trial because he was PDP's national publicity secretary. Full stop. He was not a contractor. He was not a thief. Let me just come in and ask you this. Just hang on. You, you need to let it go back and forth so that it's uh, nice and easy for viewers who are also watching. But now, the, his counsel, because, I mean, you said he's withdrawn from the case. The impression that many are off. They thought that he wanted to know the current status 
of his client before he continues. So uh, let me ask again, is it that he has permanently withdrawn or after he knows the current health status of his client, then he can continue with the defense? The situation of what he said yesterday yeah. was that he had, in the circumstances of the case yesterday, that he had withdrawn. Okay. It now, is a legal team. There could be, he, it is, he has a right to withdraw from uh, further participation in the, in the trial. Okay. But there is a legal team. Now, you're, you're also a lawyer. Let me ask, I mean, from the way the trial is proceeding. Do you see anything wrong with the way the trial is proceeding? Yes, I do see a lot of things that are wrong. I do not see why um, a court should have an opinion over a professional issue. That is to say that medical doctors, professional medical doctors, some of them professors and heads of teaching hospitals in the Federal Republic of Nigeria have had time and opportunity to examine Chief Olisametu, and they said that this man is gravely ill All right. and uh, that whatever treatment that can be given to him in Nigeria will be merely palliative 